I love Job 10, 12. It says, you have granted me life and favor and your care has preserved my spirit. I say this scripture every morning. Why? Because I need favor. I need favor in grocery stores. I need favor with relatives. I need favor in nations. I need favor in all kinds of situations. And it says he's granted me that, but he also has granted me life. And I take that for energy. I have the energy for this day. I have the favor for this day. And something else, my spirit. Do you ever get out of sync in your spirit? You just wake up mad at somebody. Oh, if I just didn't have this person in my life or what they said just cut me down yesterday. And so we have to be careful that we preserve our spirit. Our spirit isn't into negative thinking and negative lifestyles, right? And so I'll share a story with you. My husband and I started a church in Denver. This church began to grow. We had a wonderful evangelist from Wales. And he would say this to me, of all the pastor's wives I know, you're the biggest example of a failure. He said, you don't lead the worship. You don't play the organ or the piano. And all you do is those silly little home Bible studies. And so there are going to be people who say things to you. Those silly little home Bible studies began to pay for me to be on radio and then on television. Now I'm around the world, but it really started. If I really told you how it started, it started with silly little home Bible studies. So watch your spirit when people criticize you. Watch your reaction and don't meditate on it. You know, don't do that. Because if you meditate on it, it really becomes a part of you and it can become a stronghold in your mind, you know, in, in the way you see yourself. So it's good to say who Jesus is in you every day. It's good to say, I can do all things through Christ today. I say this, I'm surrounded with favor like a shield. My television is surrounded with favor. My meetings are surrounded with favor. I claim favor when it doesn't look like I have an ounce of it. <laughs> I want you to be surrounded with favor. I want your spirit in God to be strong. Why do I want that? Because that's his will. That's his will for you. 